The Rathaus in Berlin near Köln was the setting for a discussion on racial integration. Ambassador Murphy spoke to an engaged audience as part of a series of lectures organized by the Stadt und Land Residential Building Society. Immigration has defined America's national identity since the country was founded over two centuries ago. Waves of immigrants have come to America's shores seeking to share in the American dream of equality and freedom. Each group has made tremendous contributions in terms of intellectual, scientific, artistic, and cultural achievements. Across generations, immigrants have made America the land of opportunity, a nation that values self-reliance, freedom, and democracy. Things start changing when networks bridge interests and bring people together who don't normally talk with each other. At the embassy here in Berlin, we have seen how social capital can be created between countries through our exchange programs. And we are ver working very hard at developing some new bridging programs that reach out to young people who normally would not qualify and therefore not bother to apply for some of the more traditional academic exchange programs. Jemand, der in Amerika lebt, als erstes sagt, Immigrants in the U.S. say, I'm American, even though they might be of another origin. In Germany, immigrants tend to put their original nationality first. That is more important to them than being German. The ambassador brought to our attention the various differences between religions and nationalities and compared the situations in Germany and the U.S. I think we can learn a lot from it. Question then becomes, well, you, what, what role should the host country's culture play in the lives of its immigrants? And I think, again, I don't want to be too corny, but the vegetable soup thing gets it for me. We have to, we have to, we have, to have it both ways. But if we only have it one way, I think we make our biggest mistakes. So both ways is there's a German culture, there's an American culture. I think you need that in a host country. But boy, the carrots had always better taste like carrots. And the broccoli tastes like broccoli. And think of a world where you did not have that. If you just had the host country's culture, you lose all of the appeal of anyone else coming to your country, of evolving that culture to a different place, and making it more diverse and more interesting. On the other hand, if only if only had a plate full of carrots and broccoli and potatoes, and you had nothing nothing binding it together, then you don't have a society. And so I think we make the mistake in societies on either end of that spectrum. And that we should all, I mean in America as well, that we should all try to find that balance. Uh, I personally think um, we still can learn a lot from the US. Um, the most impress impressive statement for me was when he said that all the people who are coming to the U.S. by definition want to live there and not to leave anymore. They, they want to become Americans. And this is the big difference to uh, immigrants coming to uh, uh, Germany. Um, uh, we still uh, are fighting a little bit with our history. It's not that positive to, be, to become a German, you know. But on the other hand, I think uh, this is a nice place to be. This is um, hip for young people, especially, especially Berlin. And we are doing all our best that the people feel good here and want to be part of our society. Ihnen allen möchte ich heute sagen, unterschätzen Sie niemals, was Sie und ich tun können. Und mehr Toleranz und gegenseitiges Verständnis bei uns zu Hause und auf der ganzen Welt zu schaffen. Vielen Dank für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit.